Hey Dom, this is Dave Desai. Today I want to get into armies protesting Hive and what happened with the Jungkook Kissing a Man. I also want to get into what people believe to be Jungkook listening to the hate comments and haters and what he did. So, hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Remember to jump below, see spilling mug merch, and let's get into it. The first thing that we need to talk about today is Jungkook, possibly listening to the haters. For the longest time, Jungkook was told by a lot of these people that hated tattoos and piercings. Of course, there are people that are like, oh, his tattoos are not for me, I don't enjoy it, but whatever makes him happy makes me happy. These are not the people I am referring to. I am talking about the people who blatantly say his tattoos are ugly, he needs to remove them, and then they'll re-stand Jungkook. I don't think those people realize how much these tattoos and piercings mean to Jungkook. Otherwise, he would not get them. Tattoos, especially as many as he has, have to be something he wants to look like a cool dude with a full sleeve. And he also enjoys getting piercings and having a rough boy look. If you tell him to take these tattoos away from him, he is simply just going to be pretending to be happy with how he looks. It's not the real him. Meaning those fans don't like the real Jungkook, so I say good riddance. Same idea goes with piercings. He has a choice to get. Obviously, he chooses to get them. So by hating those, you are also hating a part of his personality and a part of his identity. It's not that deep, but these things do represent you. He recently got a few piercings that kind of shook armies. He got a piercing on his eyebrow first, and then got one on his lip. This was interesting because the eyebrow one he kind of teased for a little while. He put jewels there and we were all expecting it to come. It's like he's going to pierce it. Lo and behold, he pierced it. And some people thought maybe he did the jewel thing because he only intended to be a concept during the butter era and then maybe not have it for the normal day to day. The lip piercing, however, was not during a specific promotional time and he got that so randomly. It was so out of the blue and he just appeared with it. Recently, Jungkook posted a video of him singing and it was beautiful. And this clip made armies go nuts. First off, his voice always makes the fandom go crazy. But the fact that we are getting something so close to this comeback and we are seeing more of him is really nice. But also as he was singing, he kind of brushed his hair away. I don't know if he was doing it because it was in the way, but the way he raised his eyebrow when he revealed his eyebrow shows that maybe he wanted to show us that there was nothing on his eyebrow. The movements and gestures were so subtle because he could have just posted a picture of his eyebrow and be like, look, it's gone. But he did this and what happened was a lot of people were confused. Some people thought since the gesture was so subtle that Jungkook's piercings was on the other side and others even thought it was an old clip. But Jungkook's lip piercing is still there and if you check the photos, Jungkook's lip and brow piercing are on the same side. So we can see that the piercings, so we can see that the lip piercings is on that side and there is no eyebrow. Those who thought it was an old clip isn't correct either. The lip piercing was done after the eyebrow. So people were wondering why it was taken out. Was he simply bored of it? The new concept album didn't fit? Or did he want to listen to the haters who hated it and take it off? The last one is what a lot of people thought and were hoping it was not because then he'd be listening to the haters and that's never great. I think maybe he was simply bored of it because if this eyebrow piercing didn't fit the look and feel of the new concept album, I kind of feel like then a lip piercing wouldn't fit either. But he kept that. And Jungkook would never do what the haters expect of him. And I'm glad. He should definitely just do whatever he loves and continue doing that. It was also interesting in a recent clip that Jungkook posted himself on Instagram. He was dancing with someone and people screenshotted the dance and it went viral because in the screenshots, it definitely appeared like the tattoos were removed. His arm looked bare and people were wondering if this was recent or old or if he actually got some tattoos removed. The tattoos are definitely there. If you zoom in on the original video, you can see markings on his arm, but it is lighter. And and my theory is that I don't think his whole arm is tatted. I think the under part of his forearm is more bare. So it appeared more empty there. But also it could be a slightly older video before he got the entire arm filled in. But either way, that's definitely tattoos there and he did not remove them. Again, thank goodness for not listening to those haters. I am always interested to see the really intense fan culture around the boys because a lot of the craziness kind of is completely out of their control. People think that famous people 100% curate their image, but there is a point where the celebrity is so big that when a photo or video gets out there, it becomes completely out of their control. How the content is interpreted and what people are going to do with it. And of course, this is why sometimes celebrities have a crisis management person, but that is unrelated to what we're talking about today. There is a very interesting group of fan shippers, usually Taehyung and Jungkook or Jimin and Jungkook. I am not talking about the people who think that these members are dating and then that's it. I'm talking about the people who think that the members 
are dating, but then bash the other member. So if you think Taeyeon and Jungkook are dating, they rip apart Jimin and hate him. That is what becomes a bit of a problem. But then also because of some of those toxic people, it put the Taekook ships in a bad name. And there's a lot of people who don't enjoy being attacked by these shippers or don't enjoy reading how these shippers will rip apart Jimin. So they send a message to Hybe to stop the shipping moments, like cut it out of the videos, but also stop the hate comments online. What I've seen Hybe do, or at least it seems like to me, in order to stop the situation from getting worse, they cut out a lot more Taekook moments lately in their videos. This is probably to prevent as much hate towards Jimin, and that is really all they can do. As awful as these comments telling Jimin to leave BTS or get hit by a truck or any of these awful things, it's unfortunately not against the law. If I call the police to say someone told me to get hit by a truck, unfortunately the police will just hang up and nothing will be fixed. So people mass protest the company or send so many emails to Hai being like, you need to get these people arrested. Well, they can't do anything. The most they can do is find out why the hate is happening and try to lower it from their end. In this case, lower Taekook moments to protect Jimin. Previously, we were seeing very crazy and intense Taekook moments that we just loved. I personally thought they were very cute and nothing really more than that, as we don't know more than that. But there was a Taekook moment where the boys were at the airport and in front of a lot of people, it appeared that Jungkook went ahead and kissed Taehyung in the back of the neck. It appeared like he really went for it. It was really funny to me. Some people online were saying that he did that on purpose in front of a lot of people and knowing that a lot of people were recording him. And of course, maybe he knew that a moment like this would go viral online too. But of course, these moments happen and are fun for most of us regular people. There's definitely people who wanted these clips taken down because they quote unquote ultimately get hate to the boys. And it's frustrating because these clips or fan service is done for us and done in a fun and cute way. And the boys didn't do anything wrong. So why should they stop or have the clip deleted? Most fans enjoy it and now we're all being punished for a few bad apples. I'm so sick of companies and labels tiptoeing around the fandom because it's known that within the industry that some of these K-pop fans are so sensitive to even a boy looking at a girl or a boy member looking at the other members. And dating is such a sensitive thing. I'm not saying dating or gay dating rumors are bad. It's totally fine in my opinion. Look at how in America a dating rumor can enhance your career. But I'm saying why are the boys getting hate for it? That's the problem. The industry I think just needs to stop this. Rip the band-aid off. Just act like it's normal and stop being so scared. Put Dayton on TV and accept the controversy for the next year and then afterwards idols can be normal people that date without controversy. Wouldn't that be a nice world to live in? K-pop has so many issues ranging from racism to body acceptance to being over controlled by a label. Not BTS but other idols. These are all things that they have to deal with and on top of that they have to deal with death threats after dating someone they like or being gay or whatever it is. The industry has the power to end this. In 10 years we can have idols that can have a normal life and date and do whatever they want without any problems. But the industry needs to act now. Break history. I am somewhat glad that BTS has kind of slowly done this. Not with dating necessarily but what they have done with their English songs breaking records then breaking records in general and Jungkook getting tattoos and piercings which is not normally seen as acceptable in Korea. BTS also grew the audience who are interested in K-pop and include people who don't care if the boys date or not get tattoos. This will all impact K-pop in the future to have more people not going to send death threats over those things. And when they see someone who does send death threats over these things, they can really call those haters out and say that they can't do that. Death threats were only a recent thing that the world decided is an unacceptable thing to send to celebrities. This was after the mass self-harming of these celebrities and people really saw the effect of their words. But before then, it was okay. So we can make a difference. Let me know what you think. Make sure to check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thank you to this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.